let's create this cool effect with Canva and Keynote. Okay, so here I am in Canva and I have a widescreen um, blank page here. And I went into the Canva photos and took a look for a skateboarder jumping and I found an image I liked and brought it in. Um, and I just wanna work with this image a little bit here in Canva before we dive into Keynote. So the first thing I wanna do is I want it to fill the size of what my Keynote slide will eventually be. So I don't wanna have these white boxes on the left and right. So I could just enlarge it, but I'm actually gonna use one of Canva's AI tools by clicking on Edit Photo and selecting Magic Expand. And what this will do is uh, use artificial intelligence to predict what the missing parts of the photo would look like. So let's go ahead and do that. Usually takes a minute or two. Okay, so you can see it has generated four options for me. Uh, while they're not perfect, they're pretty darn good. So I'm gonna pick one I like. I think this one is good. And we can leave our edit window and we are all set here. Now, um, what I'm gonna do is duplicate this page so I have an exact copy. And the reason we're gonna do that is because on this first image, we're gonna use AI to remove the skateboarder. And on the second image, we're gonna use AI to remove the whole background. Okay, so let's start with our first one. I'm gonna select it, edit photo, and we wanna do magic eraser. And we have to just kind of draw over the part of the picture we want to remove. So I'm just going to highlight the whole skateboarder. Uh, it doesn't need to be totally perfect. The better you do, usually the better the results are. And we are good. And we'll let it do its thing for a minute. And what it's going to do is it's going to erase the skateboarder from the picture and try and use AI to fill in the background for us. Um, so we'll give it a moment and see what it looks like. Okay, much better. Now we have a pretty much perfect image without the skateboarder. So now I'm gonna come back and now we're gonna to go to the second photo and here we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna click on edit photo and use background remover. And this should take away everything in the background or, uh, in the background except the skateboarder. So that's what we see right here. So now I have the picture without the skateboarder and then just the skateboarder. So now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to download both of these. I'm gonna do transparent background PNGs and we're gonna save it to my computer here and then we will dive into Keynote. Okay, and here I am in a new Keynote deck, and we're going to start bringing those graphics in that we just generated over in Canva. So on my slide, I'm going to do the shortcut Shift-Command-V, and from my Downloads folder, I will select the background image that I downloaded from Canva. And there you can see, looks pretty good, fills my slide perfectly. And now, again, Shift-Command-V, and we will bring in the skateboarder. All right, so everything looks good. It looks just like the original image. Now, here's where we can really have fun with this. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is, for this example, select both of my shapes and head over to the image formatting section. And here, I'm gonna drop the saturation all the way down, which will essentially make them black and white or uh, grayscale photos. I'm also gonna drop my exposure just a little bit uh, that will enhance the effect, all right? Then I'm gonna take my slide and I'm going to duplicate it. Now on this slide, I'm going to, let's zoom our background in a little bit. So I'm gonna make my background a little bit larger. Okay, just like that. And I'll bring my exposure on my background back to zero. And then my skateboarder, I'm going to make him significantly larger. Maybe move him up a little bit, about there. And we will bring the saturation back to zero or even more so, maybe oversaturated a little bit just so that color pops out. Bring my exposure up a little bit. And I'm even gonna use the built-in enhance tool to really bring that image to life a little bit. Uh, if I wanted to, I could do some rotations or add a shadow or whatever I like, but this will work for now. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my first slide 
And now we will use my favorite, a magic move transition. Okay. And we will make it a little bit faster. And we can use, let's just use an ease in. And I noticed he's a little bit off. So I'm going to kind of move him up and to the right a little bit. And let's preview. And there we go. So that creates a really cool effect. So this is, of course, just one example. Um, but I love the ability to use Canva to separate elements out of an image. It works better than the remove background feature within Keynote. So I usually start in Canva and then come do my animations and everything here in Keynote. So that is that. Thanks for watching.